what is up ctc family chase that coin here and today we want to talk about a few different things first of all chinese billionaire lee jale has come out and said some negative things about a few different projects also tezos has quietly taken the number 19 spot on coin market cap we'll get into all that in a few so let's get straight into it Okay, guys, so the first story that we're covering here is a very interesting story. And this story comes from AsiaCryptoToday.com. Um, and it says Chinese billionaire, <clears throat> Chinese Bitcoin billionaire, Li Jolie. I'm thinking that's how it's pronounced. Li Jolie. Um, secretly recording outing many big names in cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm not going to read this whole article, but I'm going to give you a glimpse of what it's talking about it's a pretty short article you can i i encourage you to come over here and read it for yourself the video itself is about i think 45 or 50 minutes long of him being you know him talking but uh this just gives a insight the article just gives an insight into the good points basically all right so the first one that he called out well he called out a few different things he called out two projects in in by name and he called out one exchange which also has a cryptocurrency which is binance so he called out binance all right um he spoke on some of the past um disagreements that the that the binance ceo had with a another ceo of another big exchange if i'm not mistaken yonbi exchange okay um he also <laughs> he said that quantum is a garbage coin all right um now when before we go on with this he said quantum is a garbage coin he said that neo is also a stupid project and it's worthless all right he said if you were wang li who's a who's a famous angel investor in china he said you will have sold them at 1.5 rmb which is the remumbi um either um he said he the price going up so much is because of a venture capital um, being a part of the project and hyping the project. Now, even though when people when when you hear people in this space say scam, this the word is just thrown out. Anything they disagree with or anything like that, they just put the label scam on it. Um, I think it's very interesting that. He's, he's calling out a lot of these projects as scams because before he calls them out, he says, you know, it's it's because of me that they're so big. Um, this guy ran many of the ICO websites that were in Asia and China, um, some of them being shut down. Um, so he helped in the promotion of a lot of these coins. Um, he also spoke about with as far as quantum. He said the the head of the quantum project wanted to build dApps. You know, like wanted to build a DAP before he had the actual quantum project, you know, up and running and solid. He wanted to build like basically like hype DAPs, like adapt to like hype up the project instead of focusing on quantum being a solid project. Um, now, as far as him saying this, he oh, wait, he also called out Binance. <laughs> well, I already said that, but he called out Binance as um, being a scam. So he called all three of these projects scams, even though he has said that it is because of him that a lot of these projects um that these people in these projects have um gotten to where they are namely quantum um now him saying that you know as far as neo being involved uh, a, a venture capital firm being involved and that's why it pumps so much um it is very obvious in this space that it's not about it's about how what you can convince people that your project can do. It's not about what your project can actually do. All right. And if you convince people in this space that your project can do something, right, that it's going to be able to do something and another project comes out and it's actually able to do that thing right now, people won't most likely, you know, go over here to this project because the, the hype is with the other project. And we're going to speak about that. Um, and Tezos is a perfect example of that. I know some of you guys say I, I show Tezos and all of that. I'm not paid to talk about Tezos, so I can't be shilling it. I do have a 
position in Tezos. All right, so I like I said, I encourage you all to come over here and check out this article. It was very funny. If you have some time, maybe you can watch <clears throat> that. All right. So nextly, we're gonna go to Coin Market Cap and Tezos, which had its beta beta release Genesis block on Saturday. Okay, um, June thirtieth has quietly snuck in and took the 19th spot. Boom, right here. Tezos, $1 billion market cap. Um, it's about $1.72 right now. The price is kind of getting hammered right now. Um, I, I kind of, I think that's mainly because it's on a very thin exchange. Um, it isn't being hyped. There isn't a venture capital um you know, there is, there is, I think our polychain is, is involved. Um, but there is a VC involvement within the project, but the, the VCs, they aren't hyping the project. Um, they're just letting, you know, letting it take its course. Um, and like I said, with the other example of a project convincing you that it's going to be able to do something in the future and a project being able to do it right now. And this is a perfect example of this. Um, I want to say, either EOS or Cardano are good examples of this. And the reason Cardano is a good example of this is because Cardano has a $4 billion market cap. At one point, I think it reached a height of $28 billion. Um, between the two of EOS and Cardano, I would say Cardano is much more comparable to Tezos. Um, but a lot of the things that Cardano plans on doing in the future, Tezos does it right now. Tezos has formal verification, a working proof of stake model, smart contracts, voting mechanism, all of that right now. All right. So Cardano is going to implement a lot of these things with Shelly and a lot of the future different things. All right. I wouldn't even be surprised if we get ledger support uh, very soon um, and including treasure support for for um, Tezos. So, you know, and this isn't me picking on Cardano because I actually really like Charles Hoskinson. All right. I've, I've had an opportunity of doing a video with him, Tizen, um, Leon <clears throat> a while back. And I, I like the guy. I think he's a very smart guy and I am willing to bet on projects that he's involved in. But, 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 you know, um, people are convinced that Cardano will be able to do the things in the future that Tezos can do now. And because there isn't a massive amount of hype behind Tezos, uh, it's kind of flying under the radar, but that's cool. That's, that's great. Um, even if this thing comes down to and hits ICO price, that's okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's check out some things. Some other quick Tezos news. All right, so if we come over here to tzscan.io and we go to status and uh, so we can check out the network. All right, so these are just the nodes. This is just an indication of how many nodes um, there are running for the Tezos project. Um, excuse me, we have 83 nodes since Saturday. All right, um, Tezos hasn't had any blocks, any downtime, it's not frozen no major bugs. It's been running smoothly. All right. Um, and it, it, it has 83 nodes earlier this morning when I was on Twitter, make sure you guys check me out on Twitter. I don't even have the air conditioner on because it's really loud and it makes a lot of background noise. But, um, yeah, there was a tweet from Arthur Brightman who said that these aren't the only nodes. Okay. Right here, we can see that there are 83 nodes, but Arthur Brightman says that these are just the nodes that um, TZ scan is, is picking up or connected to, he says that there are more nodes than this. So, um, I'm looking, I'm, I'm very excited to see, um, how that progresses and just to see the other nodes that are out there and just to see this, this map light up with different colors. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to check out some, some interesting Twitter comments. Um, so this one is from Tezos Japan <clears throat> and, um, he was speaking about, you know, Tezos being a, a lot of just exactly what I was talking about. A lot of the projects, you know, promising things in the future that Tezos can do right now. And once again, I am not picking on Cardano. I actually really like Cardano and I will be, once I start to rebalance my portfolio again, I will be taking a position within Cardano. 
<laughs> but he said, did you just say Cardano was ahead? So this is him replying to somebody. He said, did you just say Cardano was ahead? He said, Tezos is already live with proof of stake, self-amending ledger, governance, voting, etc. Literally all the things Cardano is planning is already live on Tezos. Laugh out loud. So that that was that was very that one was funny to me. Um, let's see if we can quickly find it. OK. More news. So we have Happy Tezos at Happy Tezos has just launched um, their delegation service. I have another separate video for delegation services that I'm working on. And also Tezos Bakes. So there are a few different um, delegation services that announced their um, their launch for Tezos. There was one here that was pretty good. So as you can see, people are working on, well, there is already existing ledger support um, through the Obsidian software, um, but it's only command line right now. So I, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if very soon we see actual support from directly from ledger. Um, and it's already on their roadmap as well. And if you go to their roadmap, it says it's it's being created by a third party. This is it. Boom. All right. So this was um, posted by Skylord. He said people playing games funny to watch. And look at this. <clears throat> look at this. Look at the sell wall and look at the buy wall on gate. <clears throat> this thing is so, so thin that if you have even a, a decent amount of Tezos and you go over there and sell it all within one swoop, you're going to move the price <clears throat> a lot. Um, I must say it does have impressive volume. They've, they picked up almost $9 million in volume since they've listed, um, Tezos on their site and Tezos is the leading currency on their site right now. So they're, they're definitely having fun, but somebody is definitely playing some games here. So in the upcoming weeks, as we possibly get a Bitfinex listing, as we get a Bitrix listing as BitMEX um, opens back up the, uh, the, the Tezos longs and shorts. Um, we're going to see actual price discovery. Um, right now, if you can get these Tezos at this price or even cheaper, lucky for you, really lucky for you, because it's kind of like, if you can get them around 20,000, that's ICO price. Um, I got in the first day. So for me, it was around 17,000 Satoshis. Um, uh, but it was, it was between 17 and 20,000 for the duration of the ICO. So if you can get them, if you're able to get them off of gate at this price or lower, um, I think that would be a steal because when price discovery, when a bigger exchange comes and actual price discovery happens, I don't think we're going to see these prices. All right. So that was it, ladies and gentlemen, for today's episode. I appreciate you all being here. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share this video out, and I will holler at you guys tomorrow. Peace.